So let's pop and again I don't like vocalizing my intros, but we're back on this bullshit, might as well say hi to y'all. Hello. I'm gonna need some new headphones. So I don't know when this video is going to be uploaded. But best believe I'm gonna have a lot of these types of videos in reserve set to a schedule and with some editing to crop out some of the unnecessary bullshit on the screen. So obviously I had to start out with the work since these are quadruplets in this version, not the remake on the Nintendo DS, PSP, PC and iOS devices. Does Android get any love with this? Probably. Caps lock. So what is the start key on this one? Hmm. This game will, using a new emulator and not really practicing the controls will make you feel a little high. It'll make you feel like George W. Bush when he was trying to open up that umbrella or poncho thing. Hmm. I gotta be careful with some of the keys I played. I, I should remember from my Chrono Trigger days. Because I got Wheezy Baby, but there's four other party members. Come on. Let's get with it. Maybe I just press... Oh, no, baby. No, baby. Oh, okay, so that's what I'm supposed to do. So let's keep going with the same motif. Only let's have it with... Yeezy. I'm going to get a little creative this time. Bring out my personal favorite of the four. And yes... Four, obviously. Breezy. And you know how this is going to end at this point. Drizzy. I honestly prefer to banter in this game than in some of the other, in the remake actually. Although I haven't gotten too far into the remake. I played the remake when I was 12 years old on my 12th birthday. And I am a 21 year old on the verge of becoming a 22 year old in about a month. But I like this, you start off getting jazzy jeffed through a well into this weird ass cave. I like that, getting jazzy jeffed into like a... From a well into this dungeon, that's type sinister for a beginning. Also this game, for magic, there is no auto targeting, but for everything else there is auto targeting, so that's cool. And I really like the graphics in this one. I might have to go over this video to see 
if some of the audio cut off, because I know the sound cut off on my headphones. I only have one good earbud on my right side. But yeah, the banter is really fun. Oh, wow, the arrangement on this is really nice. I might really like this OST. But yeah, this is the first time I've actually played Final Fantasy in a while. I played 13-2 and Tactics in the beginning of 2016, and towards the fall of... No, just the fall of 2016, I played Lightning Returns. But no main lines. And this game has kind of haunted me for a better part of three years since trying to get back into this series because I never actually finished it. And there's one dude in a forum I go to who always soapboxes about how difficult this game is. Artistically so, actually. So it really got me into the idea of trying it out again. And he was playing the NES version this time. So this is a puzzle, but again, I think it's mostly there to show you puzzles exist, interact with your environment, and look at the controls. I read a walkthrough that said this is the grindiest of the mainline Final Fantasies, and I kind of doubt that when thinking about old school Final Fantasy XI, but of the non-MMOs, yeah, I can probably brace myself for that. And unlike how I used to be, I'm not as prejudiced against grinding. I've kind of built up my appreciation for the most polarizing aspect of RPGs. Hmm, which one is more menacing? The battles in the first dungeon aren't as intellectually stimulating. But you know, I kinda like it. It's kinda like East if East wasn't in an action game. That's like wavy. I got on heal after leveling up. The Trail series spoiled me. I'm playing Trails of Cold Steel 2 right now. Wavy. What did that do? So I'm trying to get to the menu right now. I like got all this nice stuff. Might as well check it out. I'm getting kind of weirded out. I really don't want to press the numerical keys. But yeah, I definitely want to get into it. Okay, so the enter key does it. That's actually really good to know. So now I got... Because this is an 8-bit NES game. There's not a lot of buttons. So I already got this game down packed in a way. Except for accidentally hitting the... Cancel button. Okay. Oh no, keep that. So this is as complex as your inventory system gets. A weapon for either hand. Some headwear, armor, and accessories. 
Southland. Okay, I can't equip that. So I'm assuming none of us can equip that then. Because we're all Onion Knights right now. But this is old school RPG, and I'm literally role playing. I'm pretending to be these rappers. Oh, damn, I wasted. I wasted those items. But I really like the speed and frame rate of this old school game. The cadence just feels really nice. Yeah, you can tell my commentary is tight. Mm, weird today. Remember back when I was a neat playing these games and I just sounded high as a motherfucker every time I played? Because I would literally play right before I knocked out 9 a.m. I slept at 9 a.m. I didn't want to bother anyone, so I played when everyone left to go to work or school. I might have to switch the keys. Okay, so... Everyone's probably on track at level 45. Let me try to squeeze in one more level up. Or just see how much XP these guys in that do. Just because we got a good grinding spot, might as well take advantage of it. And this is one of those games where even in the remake, if you go to the wrong spot, you will die. Which, that's one of my big criticisms of Final Fantasy 2. Not so much 1, because in a way, 1 took away a lot of your freedom. You gotta get the right vehicle to go to the right places, otherwise your world is really tiny. Anyway. So let's see, is the EXP divided? Sorry. Oh no, baby, it isn't. So eight times... Six. This is actually probably not the right place to grind, because I know you switch... Actually, I'm not going to get to that. That's probably a spoiler. Oh, these guys hit real nasty. It's as Romeo Santos once said it. So nasty. Oh, 12 VXP, that's fire right there. That's like a normal battle and a half. Yeah, why the frame rate getting silly right now? I don't like that combination when the frame rate gets silly and the neighbors upstairs or outside start getting loud. Got a homie feeling paranoid. Like something nefarious is going on. Good news is I got a lot of room on my Mac now that everything... Well first off, the guy who repaired my Mac, he couldn't get all my old files back, but he added a bunch more RAM, and I got RAM for a long ass time. So I don't got to do any deleting videos, putting anything on a cloud service, none of that. Oh wow, that was excellent, actually. Didn't mean that. The inputs are a lot more sensitive here than I expected. You know what? I'm really liking the way this looks. 
This is a very attractive NES game. Like, there was that 4chan thread on VR three years ago where I read someone responding to someone saying, playing an 8-bit RPG? Ew. But nah, this ain't ill at all. This is actually really nice. Oh, that could be just my playing a game for the first time hype. I always hype a game up the first time I play it. Matter of fact, that's one thing I have a feeling that a lot of Let's Players do. And they inadvertently kill their own LPs by doing that. Because they'll be very, like, ecstatic about playing a game. And then afterwards, they'll act like idiots for the rest of the LP after, like, the first 10 hours. But Nintendo Capri Sun does that a lot, actually. <laughs> He'll run through a game, talk about how it's, like, the best game ever. And then after 10 hours of playing this long-ass game, he'll just start getting really dumb in his commentary. Going from one of those atypical child friendly LP is like a perv. But at least I know the level cap isn't crazy in this one. Sometimes you'll run through a game and the level cap is like silly. <laughs> Something about that gives me a weird like you about to get fucked, literally, vibe. Well, that's interesting. It just stays there if you don't hit anything. Like, no commands, no nothing. Just a bunch of menus and this still image. But the music, man, I'm loving this 8-bit stuff. It has a bigger rock and roll vibe to it, which is probably why I like it so much. We are killing a giant turtle with some knives. Not even like a dagger, like a tool with multiple purposes. We are just... Toma. <laughs> okay. I hope he's not like dead ass like targeting this dude. Come on, do your shit. Whoo! The AI is smart here. DJ Khaled will tell it that. <laughs> He'll be alright. Oh no, baby, what is you doing? <laughs> Why is he going after Yeezy so much? I'm under the assumption, because of what happened prior, that items require less agility to use and just simple attacking. Wow, this guy deadass did not... <laughs> like, fight. That was the first time he hit someone that wasn't easy, when he hit Drizzy. Let me see how many sides that star has. I'm really feeling playing a text based game as opposed to one with voice acting. Like, the closest. To that I've played in a long time is maybe Grandia. But that has some voice acting in it. Some bad voice acting. And maybe to... Before that, Sui Code in 3, which I love. And Parasite Eve. <laughs> oh, this dude... <laughs> Nestical. 
You got on us, school. This guy is plugging himself hard. I guess this guy's from California? No, no, that was Canada. Waterloo, California. Why am I calling Canada California now? I was really ignorant. <laughs> I fucks with Canada, by the way. I don't care about the whole... He's worse than a Jew, forgive me. He's a leaf meme from memory. As usual, the Final Fantasy game begins in medias res. We don't know how they got through that well. It's just supposed to kick in immediately. Okay, so it's like a cave well thing. This world map theme is really like positively received. I noticed. I just love the dialogue in this one. I could be the translator putting stuff into it to make it more entertaining. Can I run? So y'all just like hermits in your own village. What if you need, like, to trade, like, uh, you just get your nastiest dudes to go out and do the trading stuff, because you know y'all not gonna do it. But I like this, there aren't that many NPCs, but that makes interacting with them a little more cool. Hold on, let me try something out. Eventually, I'm gonna have to test if saving is good in this emulator. <laughs> Play again soon. I like that dialogue. This shit has personality. It's not drowning in it. It's not obnoxious, but. Um, I might just upload this on like the summer for that 8 bit summer throwback. Let me talk to this homie. So, Elder. How many stars is that? That's, that's Jewish. Reminds me of that, like, uh, oh, wow, that is a nasty little effect. It's obviously not intended. But this game is better than the original NES version of the first two Final Fantasies. I love the first two, but only the remake versions, to which there are many. This one I'm airing a little more to the original. Okay, so this guy's our daddy in this game. I don't like how in the remake they tried to like characterize him, but they had to change the plot a little bit as swag. I mean refia type bad, bougie, but Look, I was gonna say I'm gonna do this blind, but nah. So they calling him daddy? They about to get their asses beat. 
How you gonna walk into a dungeon with a boss battle at the end of it without my permission? I don't know, they were like chosen, so there was some type of predeterminism going on. That's why they ended up in that dungeon with the boss in the end and the crystal. By the way, I'm glad we got the crystal this quickly. No BS like in Final Fantasy 1 where we had to go through three different story arcs before getting to it. Okay, so this guy's supportive. I thought he was gonna beat my ass. But was that dialogue even necessary? Matter of fact, what am I doing? I should stop this recording right the hell now. It's a good point to stop it. I've been soapboxing a little bit. And I'm just ready to do some research right now. This has been your boy, Mr. Wonka7. Stay born.